everybody welcome once again to the help program time management will be the session today shall we start of course we should without wasting any time time is our most precious resource why is it so let's watch a video which beautifully elucidates the importance of time as a precious resource. Imagine you had a bank account that deposited 86,400 rupees each morning. The account carries over no balance from day to day, allows you to keep no cash balance and every evening cancels whatever part of the amount you had failed to use during the day. What would you do? Draw out every rupee each day? We all have such a bank. Its name is Time. Every morning it credits you with 86,400 seconds. Every night it writes off as lost whatever time we have failed to use wisely. It carries over no balance from day to day. It allows no overdraft so you can't borrow against yourself or use more time than you have. Each day the account starts fresh. Each night it destroys any unused time. If you fail to use the day's deposits, it's your loss and you can't appeal to get it back. There's never any borrowing time. You can't take a loan out on your time or against someone else's. The time that you have is the time that you have and that's it. Time management is yours to decide how you spend time. Just as with money, you decide how you spend the money. It is never the case of us not having enough time to do things but the case of whether we want to do them and where they fall in our priorities. So use your time wisely. Now, what were the key messages conveyed in the video? Few of you can raise your hands and give your responses. It is interaction time for one minute. Now, let's recap. Our time bank. It has 86,400 seconds credited in the morning every day in all our accounts. We are permitted to use all the seconds within 24 hours. Can't carry forward any unused seconds. And no overdraft permitted. So, we must use time wisely. The first step in using time wisely is to write a to-do list. What is a to-do list? To-do lists are planning tools. They are checklists. They help us to navigate the day's or week's activities and manage our responsibilities. Here is a to-do list template to guide you in preparing your own list of activities. Be crisp, clear and precise. Once the to-do list is ready, we must prioritize the activities with timelines for each. What is prioritizing? It is nothing but setting the order of importance in which the activity should be completed. Remember, first things first. Let's watch an interesting video which throws light on prioritization of activities and use of time. There's a well-known story about a university professor who wanted to make a point about how we make the most of our time. The professor stood before his class with some items in front of him. When the class began, without speaking, he picked up a large, empty jar and proceeded to fill it with rocks about two inches in diameter. He then asked the students if the jar was full. They agreed that it was full. 
So the professor then picked up a box of pebbles and poured them into the jar. He shook the jar lightly and watched as the pebbles rolled into the open areas between the rocks. The professor then asked the students again if the jar was full. They chuckled and agreed that it was indeed full this time. The professor picked up a box of sand and poured it into the jar. The sand filled the remaining open areas of the jar. Now, said the professor, I want you to recognize that this jar signifies your life. The rocks are the truly important things, such as family, health and relationships. If all else was lost and only the rocks remained, your life would still be meaningful. The pebbles are the other things that matter in your life, such as work or school. The sand signifies the remaining small stuff and material possessions. If you were to put sand into the jar first, there is no room for the rocks or the pebbles. The same can be applied to your lives. If you spend all your time and energy on the small stuff, you will never have room for the things that are truly important. Pay attention to the things in life that are critical to your happiness and well-being. Take time to look after your health, play with your children, go for a run, write a letter to your grandmother. There will always be time to go to work, clean the house or watch TV. Take care of the rocks first. The things that really matter set your priorities. The rest is just pebbles and sand. Wow! What a simple but thought-provoking and life-oriented experiment. The jar represents everything that is in one's life. The rock represents the big or important things in our lives, our education, family, health and our service to others. The pebbles are the other things in our life that give it meaning, like our job, our house, our hobbies, sports and our friendships. The sand and water represent the small stuff that fills our time like watching TV, Facebook, Twitter or running errands. Make sure to put the big rocks in first or you will never get them all in. The little rocks won't matter much then. I'm sure all of you understood the importance of prioritizing your activities every day within the available time. What are your big rocks? What are your priorities? It's time for you to reflect. Close your eyes. Reflect on the following question for 30 seconds. Am I doing everything according to my priorities? With your eyes closed, listen to and feel the affirmations. Number one, I have identified the big rocks or important things in my life. Number two, I will plan my schedules according to my priorities. Number three, I will act as per my plans. Now gently open your eyes. To actualize your affirmations, here are some simple and useful tips. You must be aware of some of them, but it's always good to refresh our memories. The first and most important tip, don't be lazy or lethargic. Do you remember the hare and the tortoise story? The hare thought that it had all the time in the world and lost the race. The tortoise was slow and steady without losing time and won the race. Let's be like the tortoise. What is buffer time? Buffer time is the simple act of allowing a little extra time between our tasks. It's not being lazy, it's being intelligent. 
when switching from one task to another, you need to allow a little time for your minds to make the switch. Adding a little buffer time makes it happen naturally and easily. In our everyday lives, it is common to feel tired and drained out. When energy is drained, we will take more time to complete a particular task. Therefore, just like how we recharge our cell phones, we need to recharge ourselves both at the physical and mental levels. We all are aware of the ways to recharge our batteries, but let us look at it once again. Nutritious food, drinking water, yoga and exercise are very important to keep you physically fit and energetic. Do not ever miss your breakfast. Simple yogasanas and exercises help to activate your brain. As students, you have a lot of mental activity which drains you at the end of the day. You already know what to do. Spend some time for relaxation and meditation. Let it become a routine. Some more helpful tips. Keep a clock visible in front of you. When you get deeply involved in your task, it will help you to track time. It is always good to mark the important events like exams, submission of records, etc. on a calendar. Reminders, either as alarms or small notes, help you to start your task on time. No matter how busy you think you are, you can always take on more. All that you need to do is to set the order in which you must do your activities. Keep a track if they are done on time or not. Then you'll be able to win the race of life. We now have a video which has captured all the time management tips in a nutshell. Let's watch it. Let's recap. Lost time is never found again. Tips for effective time management. Prioritize your activities with timelines. Have buffer time while planning. Note the tasks on a calendar. Energize yourself. Nutritious food, yoga, exercises, 
relaxation and meditation. Most important, be active and use time wisely. There is a beautiful quote which says, The bad news is that time flies. The good news is that you are the pilot. How very appropriate and true. Time may fly, but remember that we are the pilots managing the flight of our lives efficiently. Have a great time. Thank you. We'll meet you all once again next week. Done.